Airborne Disease, Wikipedia Article Audio An airborne disease is any disease that is caused by pathogens that can be transmitted through the air. Such diseases include many of considerable importance both in human and veterinary medicine. The relevant pathogens may be viruses, bacteria, or fungi, and they may be spread through breathing, talking, coughing, sneezing, raising of dust, spraying of liquids, toilet flushing or any activities which generates aerosol particles or droplets. Human airborne diseases do not include conditions caused by air pollution such as volatile organic compounds, gases, and any airborne particles, though their study and prevention may help inform the science of airborne disease transmission. Airborne diseases include any that are caused via transmission through the air. Many airborne diseases are of great medical importance. The pathogens transmitted may be any kind of microbe, and they may be spread in aerosols, dust, or liquids. The aerosols might be generated from sources of infection such as the bodily secretions of an infected animal or person, or biological wastes such as accumulate in lofts, caves, garbage and the like. Such infected aerosols may stay suspended in air currents long enough to travel for considerable distances, though the rate of infection decreases sharply with the distance between the source and the organism infected. Overview Causes Airborne pathogens or allergens often cause inflammation in the nose, throat, sinuses, and the lungs. This is caused by the inhalation of these pathogens that affect a person's respiratory system or even the rest of the body. Sinus congestion, coughing and sore throats are examples of inflammation of the upper respiratory airway due to these airborne agents. Air pollution plays a significant role in airborne diseases which is linked to asthma. Pollutants are said to influence lung function by increasing airway inflammation. Many common infections can spread by airborne transmission at least in some cases, including anthrax, chickenpox, influenza, measles, smallpox, cryptococcosis, and tuberculosis. Airborne diseases can also affect non-humans. For example, Newcastle disease is an avian disease that affects many types of domestic poultry worldwide which is transmitted via airborne contamination. Often, airborne pathogens or allergens cause inflammation in the nose, throat, sinuses, and the upper airway lungs. Upper airway inflammation causes coughing congestion, and sore throat. This is caused by the inhalation of these pathogens that affect a person's respiratory system or even the rest of the body. Sinus congestion, coughing and sore throats are examples of inflammation of the upper respiratory airway due to these airborne agents. An airborne disease can be caused by exposure to a source, an infected patient or animal by being transferred from the infected person or animal's mouth, nose, cut, or needle puncture. People receive the disease through a portal of entry, mouth, nose, cut, or needle puncture. Airborne transmission of disease depends on several physical variables endemic to the infectious particle. Environmental factors influence the efficacy of airborne disease transmission, the most evident environmental conditions are temperature and relative humidity. The sum of all the factors that influence temperature and humidity, either meteorological or human, as well as other circumstances influencing the spread of the droplets containing the infectious particles, as wines, or human behavior sum up the factors influencing the transmission of airborne diseases. Transmission Some ways to prevent airborne diseases include washing hands, using appropriate hand disinfection, 
getting regular immunizations against diseases believed to be locally present, wearing a respirator and limiting time spent in the presence of any patient likely to be a source of infection. Exposure to a patient or animal with an airborne disease does not guarantee receiving the disease. Because of the changes in host immunity and how much the host was exposed to the particles in the air makes a difference to how the disease affects the body. Antibiotics are not prescribed for patients to control viral infections. They may however be prescribed to a flu patient for instance to control or prevent bacterial secondary infections. They also may be used in dealing with airborne bacterial primary infections, such as pneumonic plague. Prevention Additionally the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has told consumers about vaccination and following careful hygiene and sanitation protocols for airborne disease prevention. Consumers also have access to preventive measures like UV air purification devices that FDA and EPA certified laboratory test data has verified as effective in inactivating a broad array of airborne infectious diseases. Many public health specialists recommend social distancing to reduce the transmission of airborne infections. Climate and Living Area Rainfall being more important than total precipitation, mean of sunshine daily hours, latitude, altitude are characteristic agents to take in account when assessing the possibility of spread of any airborne infection. Furthermore, some infrequent or exceptional extreme events also influence the dissemination of airborne diseases, as tropical storms, hurricanes, typhoons, or monsoons. Climate conditions determine temperature, winds, and relative humidity in any territory, either all year around or at isolated moments. Those are the main factors affecting the spread, duration, and infectiousness of droplets containing infectious particles. For instance, influenza virus is spread easily in northern countries because of climate conditions which favor the infectiousness of the virus but on the other hand, in those countries, lots of bacterial infections cannot spread outdoor most of the year, keeping in a latent stage. <laughs>